actually no. You look over and you see you see nothing, just an empty hallway. Is there a wall? Yeah, there's a wall. You also see it split in two paths. Um oh. I will where the fuck did I can't see where he went, so I'll look over and say to Ruka, uh should I follow him? Uh, I nod. I run off. I'll jump another 20 feet into a keel. Is that 20? Yeah, that's 20. And then look around. Do I see anything down either hallway? <sighs> yes. Ah! I will swing at him. And I'll say, you sneaky Oni. Or no, you sneaky giant. And hit him with this, and that misses. How much do I get? Is it a d6 from a large? A d4. Okay. You could grapple him and pull him back out here. Well, you could have said that before. Unless the DM wants to allow me to do that. Nope. Well, you have, like, was... fluid blows and stuff that you can use to make extra attacks. I'm going to beat him into... Blue How far away is he? He's like five feet. Okay, yeah. <coughs> so I will flurry of blows. Blows. And do two more hits. The 19 hits. You can make a grapple attack if you're placing any attack. Too late, he already did it. God damn it. Why, JJ, why? why? Words escape me. Damage taken. <laughs> Damage taken. And. That is everything. Set my reaction. He wants to run away. Okay. Okay. Well, shit. Um. So the other one is invisible. No, he's out of line of sight. Um. Gonna move 30 feet and hold Firebolt. And then my turn. Alright. <coughs> 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 What'd you say? Honest in that thing where you're not loud enough for us to be able to hear. Sorry, I'm sorry. The children's blood. Now you're just cutting out. Yeah. Oh, wait, can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. Uh. That's ridiculous. Just... <laughs> that was great. You know what? No. Just... Darkness. You cast darkness? Yeah. Good motherfucker. Ah, uh, that dick. <sighs> I knew I should have gotten the fucking, uh... Devil Eye one instead of Beast Beats. A warlock? No. So in that 15 cube, darkness. Oh my god, is it cube? What the fuck? Let's see, uh, darkness, is there? Sphere, my bad, not a cube, it's. That's what I thought. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to put a token down and set an ore of black on it. Yes, that's what I did. I need a black token. Get a black square. Oh. Get a token. Oh, 
That's cool. I like that one. This one up. By the way, I figured something out for something. They can only use Charm Person once a day. Huh? They can only use Charm Person once a day. But I'm just looking through this stuff. So, fine. Options. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Alright. It's the end of his turn. Rukos. Gala. Gala. I just gonna continue holding my turn until I see stuff and uh this is only gonna move up over here. What's my turn? But just both of them holding actions. Actually, can I think about this? Yes. I just thought about this, actually. What uh, books do you have exactly, Claus? Um. I have The Wizard of Oz, Little Red Riding Hood, which I got the werewolf from because the wolves, yes. uh, Snow White, Monkey Paw, and Hercules. Do any of those books contain an Oni? Let me check to Hercules real quick. I don't think Hercules has an Oni in it. Onis are Japanese, so I doubt it. No. That's right. No. And since he used its shadow form, I need you to make me a constitution check to keep this thing under control. Using your constitution. I actually have decent constitution. Decent. Oof. Oof. You feel like you thought you had this thing under control, but it's grasped away from you suddenly. Huh. Does it disappear or turn on him? Stomp, it's your turn. Well, actually, no, I am going to use my action to uh, summon the. What? What is that? Sounds like a dog. No, it's. I could summon a god. I'm gonna summon Cerberus. Uh, and because I can only have one, oh god, I made a mistake. What have you done? I have to roll high. Or take damage? Oh, oh. not summon at all. So I need oh, to roll a 17 or higher. Yes. Right. So. What page is Cerberus on anyway? Huh? Like, where can I find Cerberus? Let's see. Um. What page is he on? I was going to. What is this? That'll work. But. Oh, I gotta grab a thousand for real quick. But yeah, my other person disappears and Cerberus would hold its action. What if I told you he didn't disappear? I can only have one! God damn it! You forget clearly what an Oni is. I don't even know what an Oni is. Allow me to educate you. Please, the Oni. The thing that. Where the fuck did I say his friend? Alright. Onis are basically a thing of, of nursery rhymes and fairy tales. So, if, say, a person uses the magic of fairy tales to make an Oni, that thing is going to stay there. That will tell you right now, Claus, is that uh, 
And I will let you change your mind if you want to do this. I'll let you keep it, but if it's a CR of anything higher than your level, you need to make a concentration check to keep it active on the field. I will let you change it, because I didn't say that before. Uh, you did actually it. say that before, but I'm also, even if my character would have known, he's old and senile, so I'm fine. Okay. So. Good guy class. It'll be a DC... 14. 14 to keep the servers there. I just rolled. I meant to keep it there on your next turn. The end of your next turn. Oh. Okay. Um, could yeah, you enlarge that? Yeah. I'll enlarge that for you, because I think, aren't they a large? Oh, uh, let me... I, I already stole sure. it up, so I can check. They are, yes, they are large. I will increase the size. I assume you have control over it? That's uh, right. Yes, because I used my Hercules seat. So... Alright, stop, it's your turn. You are currently is, in darkness. He is in the darkness as well, and I know that. So I'm yes. going to run through the hallway and get Actually, to the Actually, darkness. you need to make a... Uh, only a 1d3 to determine which direction you run. Now, I know what direction I'm running because I'm up against the wall. So I just keep myself against the wall. All right. So you're going to run this way? This way. Why does it keep doing that? It actually stopped right about here because you bump into something. And I will start hitting him as I bump into him. But I will... Still I'll can't see to... shit, though. I'll try to grab him, though, in the darkness. Alright, so I guess make a check with disadvantage because, again, you can't see shit. And it's an athletics check? Yeah. 16. 16? Natural 18, so you just... You don't even touch him. Well, I kill almost kill him. Now another one at 20. <sighs> 21. Still doesn't... You just can't quite get him. Mm -hmm. A flurry of blows. And do what he can get. Flurry of blows is just unarmed. No, you can actually, like, substitute attacks for grapples. I doubt the first one I hit it, so I rolled the second one. Fucking hell, man. Alright, you successfully grabbed the Oni. And I moved ten feet. So I will move him again over here. Well, actually, I'm considering this difficult terrain because of the narrow yeah. hallway and darkness and the fact so... that you're carrying a struggling creature. That is, I adjusted for that. So That's you get right about movement. here. Right here is 15 feet, which is the last bit of my movement. But you already moved to 10 feet. Yeah, you have I have 45 feet. feet of I got 40 feet. Alright. I mean, I'm a monk, bro. Gosh darn. Hold on. It's dang nabby. Hold on, my computer's fucking up. Alright, the only still in darkness, though. Yeah. So I... That's the end of your turn. Uh-huh. Ruka. Um, okay, so this Oni right beside me... You don't know about that. Mm... Well, I would still be preparing my attack because... I can't see in the darkness. So you're just gonna stay there and hold your action? Yeah. At the end of your turn? Yeah. I'm preparing to get snapped. Okay. Uh, trying to not draw its attention, I'm going to use Cerberus to attempt to attack this one. Uh, it's not your turn. No, I had my held action. Alright. Well, I used my held action to summon him, but he still had his held action. I think if you used your held action, then you have to wait till you can do anything. What does what initiative does oh, it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, 
I summoned it on my turn, right? You said you were holding your action. So that meant but, it was another person's turn that he had used it, correct? No, because, um... He just went and did all of his stuff, and the only person before him was me. So all that was done before his turn even started. Okay, yeah, that's right. So, alright. Yeah. So, it's going to bite. That's a hit. And it is cursed to where it cannot change planes. Doesn't really matter for this. And also, uh, Cerberus knows the distance to and direction of the creature until it or Cerberus dies. And then here. Okay, now roll me a con save. Why? What? To make... To keep the Cerberus there, I told you. That was the held action. Alright, yeah, your thing's up next. Yeah. So it's the only... So... Which, oh. trust at the end of the Cerberus' turn, you gotta make a con save. Well, it was I won't a... do it next time, but... Yeah. Next time. So, it's the Oni's turn now. Unless anyone else had anything held? Oh. Alright. So they're gonna both go after you. Stop. As you see, the first one go at you with its claws, while the one behind you pulls out a glaive. The claw miss. The glaive is definitely a hit. What the claw roll? The claw rolled a ten. Okay. So the glaive takes. I'm assuming he rolled like twenty or something. So from the first glaive, you take 10 damage. Fucking hell. Okay, only one of them. And again, the one with the glaive hits you with one of the cl claws miss. And you take an additional 14 damage. Okay. Took some decent damage there, but I'm still going. That's right, if you've been grappled, he can't do that. Those were his actions. Oh wow, he didn't try to break out? Why would he? You got him right... Pretty much hugging him where he can get you good with his claws. Well, where you're supposed to, but instead missed. So that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I think that's the end of its turn. Della, your turn. Well, um, while I'm still invisible, I'm just kind of kind of shout. So, uh, I can hurt them a lot, but uh. Actually, that reminds me. Thank you for reminding me. I think you would stop concentrating on invisibility on you. So you are now visible. Okay. Well, I still shout. I can hurt them a lot, but uh, stop. It's gonna hurt. Okay. And I'm going to use my action to summon an unseen servant and use them to kind of like nudge on who to move her away. Yeah, that. That's do, what you can do. Do it now, please. Do, do you accept the movement? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's move right back over here. All right. He will take uh, an opportunity attack. Force movement doesn't provoke opportunity nope. attacks, does it? Oh, you enraged me. Right? Okay, so I need them. I need everyone that is going to be in that co. Well, this area to make DC 17 dexterity saves. Yay! Dex saves. Oh, 
22. Yes, what was the DC? Uh, 17. They both fail. Okay. So, Stump takes half damage. Oh, I got that exactly average. That right. put me down. Even at half? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you're down? Yep. Uh, Alright, so you automatically lose grip on him. Bonus action healing wound. <laughs> And now I'm back up, and I look around, and you uh, are actually look, prone. Uh, did I get hurt with fire? I just... Well, you did get. Well, you got knocked unconscious, so you fell to the ground. So and then you got you shoot. Shoot. So fire pretty much all that three of the heads like converged and opened up and like full on like anime beam attack. A fire. Yeah. I hate fire. It's a hellhound. <laughs> what do you expect? Just making sure. Is that the end of your turn? Yes. So, Stump, you are currently prone. Okay. And if I remember right, standing up gets opportunity attacks. Nope. Are you sure? I'm pretty positive because we had a whole big discussion about that before. Uh, 5e, e standing attack of opportunity. As long as you don't move outside of the enemy's reach. Okay, yeah, so. Who even came up with that? Um. I think you're the one who came up with that, right? We can stand up. No, that was like a whole big thing that we had one time, and I ended up going with the actual book because the thing that I came up with for that was um, from Pathfinder. Okay, I think so. I remember that actually. So, okay, I, I have bad fall. memory, but I remember that. I assume you want to stand up. Um, hold up. Whenever I'm prone. They get advantage on opportunity attacks. Correct. Um, Again, uh, if you stand up, you won't get opportunity attacked. I don't know. That costs half my movement, though, right? Correct. Um. Can you can't he can't see out of the darkness. He can actually see you, so... Dark vision so, doesn't give him that. Yeah, because you can't see through the darkness, so you can't see out of the darkness, can you? You know what? I'll, I'll say, yeah, he can't see. He can't see me? Okay, then he'll get disadvantage when I get up and move 20 feet this direction. Well, due to flanking, he just doesn't get disadvantage. Hit. The other one, however. Here. So the one with the glaive hits. I, um, I did move, or uh, stand prone, though, I said, I think. So. Yeah. And he still gets a hit on him. So what does it? Do Actually, wait, yeah, if you're prone, then attacks also get melee attacks also advantage. So I just said I stood up from prone. Okay, so yeah, and again you were being flanked. So so one did hit. Or, wait, does flanking second. count as one can't participate? No. Yeah. You can flank with like illusions. Yeah. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's great. That's why Silent Image is one of the so best spells. So take 10 damage. And that puts me back down. Oh wait, no. The one that- I'm still in melee of the one that's around me, so he can't actually hit me. Well, correct. Disregard that. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Yeah. I just remember like looking over and I thought you were moved 
over here, but never mind. So that's uh, the end of your um, turn. No, I still got my action. No, standing up is um is an action, correct? I thought it was. I think it's just half movement. Oh yeah. So then I still have my actions, and I would use my action to shove him. Is that a athletics check? Um, yeah. Fuck it, hit him in the face. I missed. Yes, you did. Uh, okay. That's all. Ruka, your turn. Ruka, Ruka. I want to fireball into the darkness and try to hit both of them. Alright. Thankfully for you, fireball but a... AoE. Yeah. Why not just do it together? They both pass. Fuck. Well. Shit. I guess I'll just sit here then. I don't have a bonus action. Well, so they still take half damage. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. Alright. Now it's their turn. We actually get rid of this darkness, it's not helping them. Except for uh, action or action. Is come on, 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 Should I do this? I mean... Uh, you will do it and kill us. I'm gonna give you an option. I'm gonna taunt you like JJ. No balls if you don't do no it. Balls. No balls! No balls! Alright then. Alright then. No balls. We're dead. We are dead. <laughs> that is it. We are dead. Well, I've already got six health, so I'm dead either way. What is that wow. for? As they each did a cone of cold. So that's how much damage total? For, for each of them? 81. For each of them, separately. What? Man. One is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, putting them together was a bad idea. I wanted it for dramatic effect. Look at all those eights, though. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. And only one one. That's the first one. Uh, yeah. 8 plus 2 plus 7 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 7 plus 8. <laughs> that is the entirety of my health, and I'll spend a little bit. So, um, that. So, if I succeed on both like of them, I am still down. I have 22 health, so... It killed me, either, or it put me down out of the way, but if I succeed, I don't think it outright kills me. I have made a terrible mistake for, for the second only. <laughs> you nearly fucked us. <laughs> nearly? He did fuck you. No, she said really. You really? Oh yeah. Three more damage and I would be dead. <laughs> well, so, we're down. Yeah, I'm down, but I'm not dead. Well, he's just gonna stomp on our faces. It is the meal for the Omni. Nice job, Cross. You Thank us you. Now. But also, your concentration falls off of that uh, Cerberus, so what does that happen? Oh no, it doesn't have Thanks. concentration. Oh, then why are you making concentration saves to keep it on the field? That was just the thing that he added on. Okay. Because it was over CR4 or something. 
Then I guess we got TPK. Yeah. That's well, fine. actually, the Sophos takes double damage from cold damage, so he might have died to you. Oh my god. <laughs> now, you see, normally, you guys would have died. You do one thing. A lot of you, when you saw the two Onis unleash the core, it was it. You were, you were dead. For a period of time, you were. However, after an unknown amount of time later, you guys actually wake up. It appears to be a grassy field. Uh, as I wake up, I stand and look and think, I have died and I'm in heaven. So I stand in a T-pose and pretend to be a tree. As you do that, you might want to look over. Nope, my eyes are closed. Right. Well, like the rest of you wake up, Do any of you want to look around? Uh, I'm going to just kind of like look a little bit. Um, Ruka, are you standing? I was sitting. I just kind of like a look over at you. I glare back. So this is what death feels like. You're not dead. You're not dead. And you turn around, you see a familiar sight. It was the tavern owner, along with what looks to be a half elf, a kobold, a human, and a dwarf. They appear to be covered in copious amounts of blood. Um, seeing their forms walking towards us, I grab at my heart. And I, like, kind of slump back down on the ground. Oh my god. Oh. The clear like runs over and just. No, don't help heart, him. <laughs> heart starts back up again. No, he's a pervert. This man sexually assaulted me. No mercy. Okay, like looks down the old man, and, like ponders it, just thinks. Ah, if only I, if I went a member of the member of the cloth. Yeah. No. She keeps helping him. I don't think you can help me, darling. I think it's my age finally getting to me. He continues holding his heart. You! He points up at Ruka. Come closer. I glare at him. Come closer, I'm dying. I'm not gonna do nothing. He really is dying. I reach forward. Uh, yes, old man. Ruka. It was nice to meet you before I died. You know, I knew your father, the demon. Uh, he wanted me to give you something. He reaches inside his cloak and pulls out a sealed envelope. He also wanted me to let you know, the sides of the rainbow matter now. I just glare blankly at him. He reaches up and squeezes he'll be once and goes limp. Nah, he... Like, you try to do it, but, like, you're just too weak. <laughs> and God's just like, no, no more weak. Press an invitation for that five-pound telekinesis effect. Oh my god. The cleric will grasp your hand. You know, like... So you're oh. holding something when you die. I go to grab the cleric's tit. Dead. I'm still a tree over on the side. Don't forget about me. Well, at least you didn't die to an Oni. What was with that anyway? How did you deal with that second one? Uh, well, simple. We beat the sh- I set it on fire. The cleric shot it full of magic. Bought over there started insulting the hell out of it. Didn't ya? Oh yeah, I did. Got him a fucking slazy out. Ass twat basket. Something twerked and stand a chance. Sorry, and the dwarf over there just chopped its head off. Yeah. Chopped him good. Chopped him real good. Um. By the way, we also took most of the magic items.
That was what I was gonna follow up with. Yeah, there were a lot, but uh, there's there was a couple left over we didn't want, so you did kind of lead us to them. So you get the leftovers. Better than nothing. I I shout over. You could hang it on my tree or limbs. You're not a tree. I'm a tree now. Heaven is my tree. You're not so, dead. This is you're still in the material plane. I take like something and I drape it over him. Just one of the magic items. Oh, um, like a necklace. By the yeah. way, um, DM's body just kind of disappears, leaving the world. And as I see this, I say, oh, he will become a tree someday too. He is now part of the earth. I take the old creep's robe. As you make an investigation check. I'm... Sweet, merciful mother of God. <laughs> You know what? As like you're trying to figure out what's wrong with this room, you accidentally like stick your arm somewhere and your arm like reaches into this blank space that is way too big to be a pocket. What the hell? As you reach around, you just see like what looks to be like a black hole. Decent sized black hole inside of his cloak. And there's just random shit in there. Piles and piles of books. I'm going to pocket it as I am a researcher and I'm going to keep the damn thing. Alright. And I think I'm that's. All of your books. I think that's a decent way to end this train wreck one of a person. thing. One person died, one person stole a bunch of stuff, somehow managing to steal a ton of shit at the end, and another person's a tree. That's a great way to end this all. Yes. And Remember. You, think, you probably would have been able to handle that if you didn't copy the fucking Oni. Yeah. <laughs> the wind whispers into Wicca's ear. The sides of the rainbow matter now. The sides of the rainbow matter. Doesn't make any sense to me. Oh god, he's haunting me. Go squeeze. God damn it.